Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Thronefall. We're back in Frosty. Bring the battle back to these horrible duders who keep invading us. I assume they're invading us, we're not like invading them with our castle. I mean, we're not sending units out to beat their castles up. In the previous episode, we got our asses roasted and toasted by the Kraken. Which I assume it's Kraken. Today I've got a plan. The plan I said at the last part of the previous episode. We are just gonna... I guess I'll build the harbor now. We're just gonna build oil towers and maybe improve walls and units. That's all we need. The first few waves are extraordinarily easy, uh, to the point where you don't really need to build defenses at all. The only only wave I'm a little bit concerned with is the uh, wave with the battering ram. I mean, these archers are pretty rough customers too. Might be worth just building. Melee unit now. Are these the? Oh, these are the archers. Where's my melee unit building? Oh, do I not have them? Guess we could combat archers with our own archers. Not necessarily the worst idea. This be archer on archer violence. And bring these guys up. There's only four archers versus four archers, so I feel immensely safe. Next wave, assuming it's not the battering ram, I think we should build that gold mine just so we can get some bonus income to start off with. There's a lot of opportunity to build up income. Oh yeah, this, this is a joke wave. There's a lot of opportunity to build up income on this map. Which I'm all here for. I like having the option to go as greedy as possible. It's about 10 billion slimes. Uh, we can't build a gold mine yet. Can't build the other stuff. I guess we're just going to have to build houses. Could level up my base so that we start getting the Builder's Guild bonus. But mm, I think it's going to save us two gold. And we're going to get three gold uh, from doing it this way. I feel unconcerned about these oozes. Yeah, there's a lot of them, but I've got an AoE weapon. We have powerful, independent warriors and a weapon that perfectly counters them. The slimes, that is. Yeah, they're not even coming out all at once. Easy peasy. They're helping me tank, too. So we're probably not going to even lose a uh, building. Maybe. Probably. It's a little bit greedy, but I think it paid off. Oh! Yep. Simple as... Now it's the battering ram wave. If we're not careful, we're going to lose our fishery. Not really sure if there's much we can do. I guess I can just upgrade my castle center. So that we start getting some cashola. And I can get a barracks. And I guess I'm going to get flailmen. Don't think the enemy archers is really all that much concern for us. That could be a mistake. Uh... But Flailman are AoE, and most of... This is the AoE-themed level. I'm just going to bring all our duders over. Defend. Then I'm going to send it once the night draws close. Or once these guys come in. The Batting Ram... 
doesn't really attack anything but buildings, but when it does attack buildings, it absolutely tears ass. I have a strong feeling we might end up losing our fishing building no matter what. But it looks like I was wrong. Easy peasy. Alright, it's nine flyers. I recall us very easily being able to handle this wave last time, so I'm just going to invest in our income. It may or may not be worth it to actually have longbowmen too. Uh, not right now, obviously, because we do not need them, but just generally speaking, uh, to help protect the dock. So I remember getting sniped in the previous episode. Guess these guys can just sit up here and get shot at, hopefully. I could probably try to tank as well. I'm not tanking. They're just shooting at me while doing drive-by. That's an easy wave. 100% unconcerned. I like these starting waves. Nice and easy. Okay, we're fighting seven crossbowmen and one battering ram from two angles. That being said, I think they filter out into the same zone. Remember them being a little bit of a pain. And maybe get another set of melee units. I kind of also want them to be AoE. It's gotta be a way to invest more into the economy though. So I'm mostly unconcerned. Guess I'll get I'll get some more spin winners. They're not the greatest against archers, sure, but they're good enough, and good enough is all we really need. I'm just going to bunch all our units in the one spot. Worst case scenario, if the other guys go around the long way, we can just bring our units around the long way. and should be fine. It's going to be eight. Eight crossbowmen versus seven crossbowmen, and we have melee units. Completely unconcerned. Build some more housing, I think. We have three gold. Guess we could upgrade a house. No, there's more houses to be built. Fantastic. Just sending it. <laughs> They're really fucking up the spin winners. That's not good. Okay, we might have made a mistake. We might have been dug a little bit too deep, too greedily. I think this fucking battering ram just soaked up all the shots of our our, our crossbowmen. This is not good. We lost a couple houses as well. I did some wonderful AoE to the enemy archers and kind of confused their AI. Which I'm very happy with. Gonna just tank and let my build let myself go down. Protect my buildings as much as possible. Please do your jobs. <laughs> Kill this fucking battering ram. Push him. Push him. No. Ah. Damn it. My houses. Motherfucker. Whatever. It's not gonna get the opportunity to kill anyone else. Ah, oh, it's so lame. Oh well. I know this is gonna be a little bit of a ball buster wave. I'm just happy we didn't lose too too much. I'm gonna be missing out on like four income basically. Which all things considered is not too bad. 
a bunch of little fast dudes. I remain mostly unconcerned. Could upgrade our... I guess this is a melee barracks. I will grab that, and we should be fine. Start to get some melee resistance. I think melee resistance was the correct decision. Do I want more? I think I think I want more income. My biggest regret last time was not investing more early. So I'm going to just follow that intuition and build up as much as possible. Can we build the gold mine? We can build the gold mine. Beautiful. So I have three cash remaining. I'm going to invest it even more. I am 100% greedy. It's what you got to do with the challenge of the snake, anyways. So we just send the spin to winners to fight these goopanoids, and just by just by virtue of their AOE, I think we're going to be completely set. The fast guys, honestly, I think we should just set up sort of near the encampments over here. Just so that when they inevitably rush past, they can just defend. And then I think we send it. Don't think we have any other units. Yeah, not seeing any. I'm just going to travel over so I can start doing damage as soon as possible on these guys. The <laughs> Goopanoids seem to be fucking my spin winners up a little bit. No, oh, never mind, they're fine. No, they are getting fucked. Well, it's costume business. Please, no. <laughs> they have completely demolished me. Fuck, I thought the spin winners were perfect against these guys. What the hell happened? I guess the spin winners need knights just to cover them. Because normally they set up kind of behind the knights. I didn't realize they were this fragile. Well, we lost out on one income. And I guess one recurring income as well. It's super stinky, but... What can you do? I think I will do pretty much the same build. Get a few extra longbowmen. Uh, I'm gonna try to prevent the... Doc from getting turbo fucked yet again. But obviously, I'm not really super counting on it. Gotten more archers. I think four archers can handle one of these waves easily. Kind of sucks to put these guys in no man's land. I think I'm just going to put them here. And I guess right here. That does leave this area exposed, but this area is going to be covered by castle. And I'll invest in a decent tower to sort of stop them. I'm going to invest in income. You know what they say, like a shark uh, drowns if it does not stay moving. So I'll put this tower up. Hopefully these units don't just go south to fuck my buildings up. If it if they do do that, it's just gonna be a sloppy wave, but that's whatever. It doesn't look like they super duper are. Oh, you little son of a bitch! Damn you! Fuck, is this one motherfucker gonna shit, fuck my shit up? Okay, you four need to come here. It's an emergency situation. This is so bullshit. I'm so upset. Please, shoot this guy. Stop him. 
Thank you. Fuck. God, that's so ass. Unbelievable. The audacity of that one little flyer bastard. And I can get some research going, because I think that's important. Get more melee resistance. I kind of want to upgrade our castle as well. Might be a mistake. Maybe it would make more sense to upgrade this tower. Maybe we get, like, this tower to be super upgraded. I don't think it really is a good tower to have super upgraded, though. I remember this tower getting bodied every single day, so having it be like a oil tower. Uh, it cannot be an oil tower. Never mind. <laughs> Fasting a little bit in income. I guess we could have two good towers here. Um, do I want to upgrade this building for eight? It'd be more spin to winners. That would probably set this wave up just fine. Yeah, I guess I will. Let's see, there's three houses. They're going to be upgraded over time. So we could maybe invest a little bit in defense over here. Get, get these towers up. Might be a little bit ungreedy of me, but you know, like we'd be investing two gold to upgrade one of those buildings, which will give us one more gold, so we'd be getting one gold back next wave. But if we wait one turn, one of those buildings is gonna be upgraded and we're gonna get two gold. So we're gonna be saving two gold and getting one gold. I think just that fact by itself means that it's probably worthwhile just to wait at this point. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would ultimately end up paying out a little bit more. I think the margin's a little bit narrow on it. And who knows, maybe having all these units up here will prevent like the gold mine from being destroyed, let's say. In that case, we'd be gaining another four gold. So it's probably ultimately worth it. Maybe we could have invested in the castle. I have the perk which gives us like plus one income per level of the castle. And it is something we're gonna have to pull up at some point. Come on, buddies. Get over here. be nice if we could speed them up somehow. Like, while, uh, while it's not in the wave, there's no real point to just make us wait. For the most part. I'm feeling pretty insanely confident. They're just absolutely roasting the fuck out of these ogres. I mean, they're doing a good job of tanking, at least, but... That's fine. I do kind of think we're going to be <laughs> losing some buildings. Never mind. Our towers are enough to destroy one of those siege engines. Oh, no! I'm not feeling confident anymore. They're all coming from the same way this time, too. Oh, no. What's this guy doing in the back over here? Come on. I, I believe in the swirly really. I'm sure it'll catch up. They did destroy my gold mine. Oh, those bastards. Wait, yeah, there's a torrent of units coming. So I don't think we're going to lose much. We might lose a house over the wall. Yeah, these little fucks are taking pot shots. I think we're going to be fine. The second battering ram might do some damage too. 
Mm. Uh, I think it's going to be destroyed. Yep, we're golden. We lost out another three income. R.I.P. It is what it is. Realm 89% protected. We're now fighting a wave of a bunch of flyers and fast units and goopanoids. I'm going to level up the castle like I said I wanted to. I guess I'll do the commander one this time. And I'll build the wall. And I guess I'll try to build an oil tower. I'm assuming it will go over the wall. So that'll be awesome. Then we just set up as normal. Set the spin winds where the goopanoids spawn, which I guess are down here. I kind of want a second layer of spin winds sort of set up at the wall. But maybe that's a mistake. Maybe maybe they should be up here slaughtering the goopanoids. Because we're going to have all the archers set up. So, oh, But it is 30 fast dudes. Actually, I'm having a recollection of the fast dudes sort of splitting up their routes a bit. So maybe I'll just have the heavy crossbowmen sort of guarding the zone. And I'll have the archers guarding the other zone. But the other zone is going around a big old wall. I'll have four of the archers stay back there. I think that'll be a nice compromise because there's three towers there. We have two coins remaining, so there's no reason not to just put two of them into a house. I think it will maybe pay for itself. I think it's going to... the margins are so close it doesn't matter. Once again. Man. Oh, spin the winners by themselves do just get their asses tore up super duper bad. I think our our glorious dock is going to be destroyed once more. The fast guys on the other side did not go through though. Please no. Stop that. Bastards. Alright. 90% protected. Is this the final wave or the... No, this is the second final wave. I remember this one was a little bit of a ball buster, but... I also don't recall it being super hard. Just set up some defenses. And we'll be fine. What's set up though? I do think more units is just more good typically. Even the spin winners. Oh, these are archers. That is super good. Upgrade this wall. And put a wall here. I think this tower absolutely should be a burning oil. It could also be an iron plates, but I think. Burning oil is just so valuable, generally speaking. This tower would not be in range to burn oil, but I think the ballista tower would also not be great for it. Maybe I'll just upgrade three towers. Could upgrade this wall, actually. Might be prudent. We could upgrade the bottom left wall. I'll upgrade this wall. Why not? So as for our units, I think having the spin winners just 
block this cave up. Makes sense. Having some archers defends this dock as much as they can is nice. There's going to be uh, absolute bajillion enemies down here, which might be... Should maybe be our main focus, because I remember, remember the knights not really posing too much threat to us last time. I'll be clever about it. I'll position the units there. That way that lets these longbowmen sort of cover both bases. Should be fine. I guess I'll personally be on the right hand side. The fast units are just going to come up, but hopefully the towers should take care of them. Okay, I was a little worried my guys would pull back to attack the knights, but it seems is not the case. It's gonna try to lure the ogres to me and the oil tower instead of smacking our homeboys. I've failed in my task. Never mind, I've successfully aggroed them. I think our burning oil tower is gonna get destroyed but that's just life. It's going to do a lot of damage to a lot of units in the meantime. That's a little bit sucky. Oh, we did successfully aggro a lot of these enemies away. That's given our reinforcements time to show up. Just watching from a safe distance. Not too terrible. Lost our gold mine, which I think is clearly there just to <laughs> just to trick the player into losing a little cash. I don't know if I've even gotten a payment from the gold mine so far. Hopefully I did. Hopefully I got my money's worth from it. Now we're on the last wave. So I remember this wave. It's a bajillion tiny dudes all just tearing ass. They're just gonna want oil towers. I think they're just straight up the best towers uh, for this enemy. This is a nice and perfect spot for one of them. Iron plate towers could also be good. And for the remaining gold, I'll just build new towers and or upgrade towers, or both. Maybe we could have upgraded a wall to be a better wall. I don't think there's anything wrong with tower. Currently set up too much. Don't think a tower down there is really going to do much for us. Oh, there we go. That'll pay off. So as for our unit placements, I mean, some spin to win guys over here, some spin to win guys over here for the final final wave, some living over here. Though I do think that this is our strongest flank, but I'm gonna have the archers and stuff all chill on the left hand side, so. I think our longbowmen are fine where they are. I think we'll just put these archers here, and these archers are going to be with these spin winners. That should be good enough. If not, this is actually the hardest boss ever. No, you guys need to stay. Trust the process. Whatever, they can they can be MK or not. Uh 
Again, oil towers are perfectly built to kill these slime annoyants. I remain unconcerned so far. Just gotta make sure every time my ability comes off cooldown to dive into the enemies and hit as many as possible. Just to ease the burden on my HP bars. As much as possible. Looks like they're coming on the left hand side. Uh, the left hand side does have its own oil tower. So again, I remain mostly unconcerned. We are losing a lot of HP. But it is what it is. Better us who regenerates than the tower, which does not. I think this wall is going to break soon. It's not looking the sturdiest. Oh, okay, it withstood the storm. How's the right hand side looking? Perfectly fine. Not even slightly damaged. The spin to winners are just doing, doing their god given work of spinning and winning. Oh, I really like the circle spin with the big sword. It really tears these little guys up. We've got seven waves remaining, so shouldn't get too overconfident. Just say everything is going according to plan so far. This tower, this wall is going to be destroyed now. And this tower too, probably. It's a little bit unavoidable. Well, I am aggroing these guys. No. It's most assuredly going down any second now. Yep. I mean, I think we're going to be fine. The spin of winners are coming to tear ass. Pulling these little guys off the wall as much as possible, just so that I can... Never mind. Okay, I think they've got that over there. How's the left-hand flank doing? Probably use my attention. It's spawning dudes right on the tower, which is a little bit risky. Looks like the left-hand side's been dealt with perfectly fine. Fantastic. Oh, wait a second. Is this like an actual HP bar? Okay, it might be spawning units until it gets plonked. That's interesting. I thought that was just a timer. Because uh, it does have in invincibility frames. Oh, it always goes in there. It's so booty. God, it's gonna blow up all my houses. That's so not cool. Oh, it is what it is. We're not gonna lose too much HP in the castle proper. I think I'm still hitting them over the wall. And blocking my spin winners a little bit. Oh, they're they're tearing up. Pretty good. Okay, that is HP bone. Good to know. It's a shame the ballistas didn't do enough damage then. Alright, come on, buddies. They move a little bit faster while I have them selected, so that's why I'm keeping them. Oh, 
There might be one last wave. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Is it gonna come out and like crawl towards my tower? No, it's just spawning dudes. Destroyed another one of my precious houses, but that's life. Oh, it's been crushed The castle is safe. It didn't even lose half its HP. Fantastic. Victory. Frosty destroyed with a ton of income removed as well because of the snake mutator. A clean 7.5 thousand. We got castle blueprints. Walls and towers have a lot more HP. I wonder what a lot is, because depending on what that means, that seems like a really good upgrade. We've got Robin Hoods, Hunters. Hunters excel against monsters, but have decent melee capabilities as well. Okay, so they're like a hybrid unit. That's not bad. Then there's Gladiators. Oh no, it's a perk, Gladiator School. Units are trained much faster, but all barat racks are slightly more expensive. Interesting. That doesn't seem to be too bad. Let's be honest, uh, the units respawning comes into play pretty frequently. Oh yes, got a bunch of little houses. So that seems like a pretty decent one. The, the money one that I was getting is probably one of the weaker ones. The one where it's like plus one gold per castle upgrade level. I think it starts at one, so that's, if there's 17 waves, that's 17 gold. And then if I upgrade the castle, let's say at wave seven, that, that's another extra 10 gold over the course of the game. Maybe not too, too bad. I imagine we're getting like 500 gold or something though. So we were getting like 50 gold away near the end. Maybe like 350 gold total. So who knows, that could, that could be the one that I replace. Either way, that's the fourth and final map of the early access. I'm gonna continue playing this game a bit to get the crowns. I'm really liking what I see. I feel like all this game needs is more maps, and then it'll just be golden. Like a real strong game. It's very cheap. I think it's on sale currently. I don't know if it'll be on sale by the time the video comes out. But even if it's not, it's a pretty cheap game. Uh, because it's in early access, apparently the devs promise that there will be more content coming soon. And I believe him. I'm really excited to see the new maps. Feels like there's a lot of untapped potential that could be grinded out. It's like 10 bajillion more maps, a bunch more bosses, all, so all sorts of things seem very cool. So I am extremely optimistic. So yeah, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Thronefall. Goodbye!